silence and the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. Hanging dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. What is that? Antia? No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have, just now. Also later, decades ago. Never mind, it's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you will only be able to end this together. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. I have a few breaths left yet, but yes, this is the twilight. Still, after the darkness comes the dawn. You're dying. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest, dearest, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. The nightmare is stronger. Wherever we turn, its power is inescapable. The same is true of many things. 
Darkness, yes, but also light. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled, but some yet live. Seek them out, help them. The Nightmare won't like that. No, you are after all a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. To reach New Eden and retrieve my body, we must help the very people who created the Nightmare in the first place? Yes. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm. Can we not just go back to the meeting house and do our jobs? You must release folk here from her grasp. Only then, through the void, may you reach New Eden Town and confront her. How do we access the void? Is there a ritual? In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. By the beach as I drowned, you sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws, and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. We know the beast was linked to the Nightmare. We're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the Nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are... manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse.
Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me, what did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to stay. Lives for a life? An expensive bargain. I made a promise. I'll pay the price. I do not judge the deal. I worry about the cost. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGrath. Banishing, of course, is famously safe.
Over here, banishers. By the pool. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. This must be one of the breaches Ceridian mentioned. Yes. This is a void breach. But yours are a little further down, in the cave. You'll see. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp, and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest, locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology, and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know he can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally. Nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. I'm curious. What do you think of the Nightmare yourself? I think the Nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it, but I accept its wrath, as I accept the rain. <laughs> and New Eden surely deserves the flood. So, who's Deborah? I know no Deborah. I don't think I've ever known a Deborah. Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. How do I put this politely? No. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. I suppose we'll come back to this one eventually. Can't wait, can you? Is this Seeker's Cave? Only one way to find out.
My God, where are we? Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. Looks barren, lifeless. This is the realm of the dead. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, keep moving. There. Our way out. It's you. I'm there. What the? What is going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave now. Next beacon is dead. Oh, what new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unheard of. on you. From what hold did this horror crawl? I don't know, but we need to go. that? Ceridian's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know. Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? 
Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I died because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. We'll get there. We always do. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought... For, for a moment, I thought of them. Those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming. Wayne's sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. Those ghosts are gone. You asked for their ascent and I gave it to them. They're not in the void. I know. This void. Is it hell? Like in the scriptures? The scriptures? Whose scriptures? It's just a what if all the teachings of my youth were wrong? What if what we just saw is what awaits me for my sins? I became a banisher to help the living by ending the suffering of lingering ghosts. But we don't end their pain. We condemn them to an eternity of suffering. We curse them. Rory. You are the kindest, most compassionate banisher I have ever met. Don't let an old god scare you into thinking otherwise. This void is the work of no god. What if they come back? What if the souls I blamed come for me? They'd have every right. The spirits of the living are consumed in the ritual. They're not coming back. All is well. As long as we stay together, all is well. Aye. All is well. Right. Seeker wasn't lying about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the lowlands? Let's pick one and see where it takes us.
nightmare can take so many forms. The snow, the broken bridges, all of it. I know. You always wonder, was this caused by nature or by the ghost? We won't be going this way. This country needs better bridges, or it'll come to nothing. These will be the Harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to it. Over there, a dock. An underground landing. Interesting. I know. I wonder what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. That spectre's looking for a body. Change tack. They never learn, do they?
Ceridian's island is a pleasant place, but you'd never know it from here. Better to keep it that way, eh? For everyone's sake. has influence here. We should be careful. No matter the bridge, we can cross it. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that. I... Stay down! Watch out! Get lost, won't you? Suddenly, I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. I can't worry. still hindered. There must be another ward nearby. I... A ward restrains me. Not.
better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A witch? Doesn't look like Sita or Sarudia's work. Let's be careful. This is locked from the inside. Help you from here. I'll deal with it. I am warded. I cannot. Ghost wards cannot manifest. Who's that? Yes, something's here. Time to work, Banisher.
Take care. The place is warded. A ward restrains me. Perhaps there's a key. Wasn't I always? What in the... there's a ship here. Incredible. Beautiful too. Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. if you need it. to me. Ghost wards cannot manifest. Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, 
You'd never know by looking. Bridges up. Wonder why. To keep folk in, or to keep something out. Did you feel that? It's close. The village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Blow them up. Cause no trouble. Oh there! Anyone home? Where did they go? The well, recently sealed. Below, it feels off. Smells off, too.
There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key. Christian souls of New Eden be fenced with iron and God's own light. Though it bring demons down in great wrath upon my soul, do pray. Friends, find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather. We worship, we overcome, and we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half-built? Yes. Open to the four winds? Yes. But already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I, I thought you... I thought you... What happy portent, what most excellent news. What... Blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds. O oh, fate, I say, dead, sir. I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends. I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you, Lammy. Behold, this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. 
For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? She knew the risks. So will I go in unto the king. And if I perish, I perish. So said Esther to Mordecai. Such wisdom. Such courage. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful. But you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I am a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go. Meet my people, walk amongst them, learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. Tis the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened. But this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. This illness, tell me of it. Upon my arrival here in the Harrows, I immediately set about protecting the place with consecrated tokens. Safeguarded from the curse, we all felt safer, for a time. Then some devil poisoned the well, our only source of water, someone on the inside, mind. Spoiled water proves nothing. A wise point and well-made banisher, if not for the fact that we have been, for months on end, under the obvious influence of a terrible curse. One way or another, the devil has found an agent among us, and who knows what nefarious ill-doing old Black Spy plans next. I noted your ghost wards, with some interest. Ghost wards, an interesting name. I call them sanctifiers, a name more palatable to my flock. That requires a great deal of occult knowledge. Where did you learn your craft? Etienne Roulet, one of the greatest demonologists of our time, is a good friend of mine. I improved upon his work. 
why did you not use them in New Eden when the curse began? It was more complicated to convince the whole congregation of the necessity to use magic. Here, people have more trust in my unmovable probity. A man in your position must know what goes on in his own community. Why, of course, I know all that there is to know. Or oh, near enough. Ask your questions, sir. Ask away. How goes the colony? Sir, the body politic bears a heavy weight. Not content with weakening their flesh, the devil's evil attacks the people's hearts and minds. Until you expose the culprit, the harmony of this divinely beautiful commonwealth shall remain marred by suspicion and mistrust. Long story shortened, people are not getting along. How did you, a man of position and faith, become a, a demonologist? Ah, yes. If you'll indulge me for a moment, I shall explain, in the briefest manner possible. Though blessed with intellect and no little faith, I also had privilege. I had the means for an education, time and place with which to study. For a time, my father was a pupil of Henry Boggart, the great demonologist. He had the books. I had the aptitude. When he passed, I donned his mantle. My father taught me about duty. I have gifts, faith, intellect, position. I must protect them. I must use them to protect my people. This is my duty. This is my burden. Your son, how would you describe him? Lamentation? How would I describe him? I... Well, he's curious. Inquisitive, I mean, as opposed to peculiar. Although he has his moments there, too. I tried to teach him demonology, to make him the third generation of witch hunters. Ah, but he revealed no disposition. Occult knowledge could only obfuscate his... good nature. At heart, he is a naive boy who reads a lot and doesn't say much. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Why would she curse your colony? Why would anyone choose to separate from God's flock? I'm afraid some just want to see the world burn, Mr. McCraith. By the grace and charity of the good Lord, she was exposed. It was my honor to serve him in sending her to hell where she belonged. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But she cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. That just tells me he's hiding something. Mind you, I'd like to know what's causing the sickness. I'm glad you're here too. You're the governor's son, right? I... Uh, yes sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Or oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. 
No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. So tell me, Lammy, what do you do? Uh, what? How do you spend your days? I assist my father, especially with the ghost wards. That keeps me very busy. When I can, I continue my research into the mysteries of life. Wildlife, mostly. If I can find any. Those that aren't dead have left New Eden. Who can blame them? Must be hard, being the governor's son and all. Is it? I don't know. I've never been anyone else's son. Hard to grow up in his shadow, I would have thought. Only if you like the attention, not me. I just want to read books and learn stuff. People leave me alone, mostly. I like that. Mostly. Your father spoke of the pestilence. He did? Then, sir, you know as much as I do. If you have an opinion of your own, I'd be glad to hear it. Since you ask it, I believe a thing most vile assails us. An evil of origin unknown and perhaps unknowable. So the pestilence is part of the curse? Uh, y yes. Of course, the curse. Of course it's the curse. What else could it be? Those ghost wards are quite unique. They are, aren't they? Conceived by Etienne Roulet, but made by my father. Do you use them as well in your line of work? Not really. I mostly talk to ghosts. I don't repel them. Of course. Still, each tool has its purpose, and these troubled times we need all the tools we can get. Magic is glorious when wielded by the righteous. You seem to know a lot about it. Uh, oh, if only, sir, if only. I'm still learning. Many of the subtleties and nuances escape me yet. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. Much better. 